Hopefully the client has provided you with a list of top competitors, but even so, you'll want to do your own research to figure out who's ranking for those top spots. If you have a sense of which keywords are high priority, your first step should be opening an incognito browser so your own search preferences don't bias rankings and search for those keywords on Google. And let's say our client is a footwear company and they want to make sure that they're ranking for the term sneakers. So we'll type that into Google. We'll scroll down. And we'll want to note here that the top three to five uh, brands that are ranking for sneakers are Zappos, DSW, Finish Line, Journeys, and End Clothing. So we'll want to make a note of that and give that information to the client. If the client is not in these top three to five spots, that's definitely a goal that you'll want to prioritize for them through your SEO work. If you don't know which keywords are important and you don't have access to Google Search Console, you can use a paid tool like SEMrush, which you can find at SEMrush.com, to provide you with a profile of the sites that have those keywords in common with your client's site. Moz.com is a great free tool to use for the next step if you know the client's top competitors. So once you're on Moz.com, you can click on Free SEO Tools, enter a search term here, and then we want to look at the root domain. So we'll go to the root domain here, and let's say our client is Nike. So we'll go ahead and copy and paste the URL here, enter it into this search bar, and then we will have to create an account I already have one, so I'll go ahead and log in, but you can create a free account. Toggle back to root domain. And what we can see here are the top ranking keywords that our own client is ranking for. But then if we type in some of the top competitors, so let's use Adidas, and we put that root domain, into Moz and click Compare Sites. We can use this to understand the number of ranking keywords between the two sites. We can also see the top ranking keywords for both sites. And this is important information that you'll also want to share with your client in that competitive review. And then the last step is to show the client a comparison of branded versus non-branded terms and where they're ranking. So as you're doing this keyword research, you'll want to make a note of which terms are branded. What that means is they have the brand name in them. So for example, Nike sneakers or Nike sweatpants, those are branded terms versus non-branded terms. Non-branded terms are these bigger, broader terms like sneakers or sweatpants. And those are really what provide opportunity for the client to rank and really own the search results in the category that they're competing in from an SEO perspective. Showing that a client owns their branded terms helps provide assurance. Showing that alongside where they might rank for the non-branded category terms reveals true opportunities for the brand to get more traffic.